yo 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 what's up what's up what's up nah 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 I got a I'm gonna do two games of this Niho guy he is I don't know who he is but I watched one of his other games and he was pretty sick and he is playing up against the one and only Buell. So, I got two games. This is going to be him on the Protoss, and then the next game, he will be on the Terran. And I think I have a couple games of him playing maybe Hamburger Sasu. So, we can try to maybe figure out who this guy is. He almost seems like a low money player. It could be Meppo, too. And I'm also intending on doing a... So Meppo and Buell played each other a total of, I think, 18 times. And I just want to kind of go through all of those games. So I'm going to do a super series of them. They weren't played consecutively, but... Um, I'm kind of interested to see who is the better one versus one player. Because I did rewatch a Meppo game and... He's sick, so, and he just doesn't, he doesn't play like anyone I've seen, so I, like, I, I don't think it's Gensei, he's better than Gangnam Life, it looks like, and I don't know, he might be better than Buell, he plays really fast, and his micro is just on point, so, Here's your probe. Got the racks and Zealot coming on over. Got to pull the SCV. Here comes your Zealot. And doesn't really have to worry because the Zealot can't get in there. This guy's one hit away from. Dying. I'm surprised that players don't just build a, a shield battery. Like right here. I think that might be a good idea. Just build a, a pylon and a shield battery right here. You could attack this. Go back to the shield battery. Just a thought. Two more pylons. Gonna get the gas over here so... And I don't think Buell knows where he's at, so I'm going to build a bunker out here. Saving, he hasn't lost a Marine, so doing a pretty good job. Just getting some free shots off. So he's going to take down that bunker. Got to pull these guys back. Going after the SCV. I mean, this guy's micro. This reminds me of of Mepo in a way. He's got the Dragoons out. This guy is pretty good. Got another barracks coming down. Already has a command center. Here's your Dragoon, so... This is not looking good for Buell here. Nice job rewalling this off. And he's not getting range, so going to get a robotics, a couple more gateways, putting down a forge. Unless, I think he already has range, I guess. No, he doesn't. I don't think so. So I think he's skipping range. He's going to take out this barracks, so... Take out this depot as well. Taking out that marine.
Now he's getting range. Gonna get a cannon back here. He's got a Nexus coming down. Gonna have a Reaver drop as well. Like, I feel like his ability, he knows the range really well. And there's your range from Fuel. He's got his SCVs right here. And Fuel doesn't know that he... Well, does he have range? Yeah, he got range. So, he doesn't need these SCVs here anymore. I guess he thinks that he might get attacked really quickly. So, he wants these guys to be able to repair it. Is what I'm thinking. Here is another robotics. Pumping out some Zaws. Probably going to get a Citadel pretty soon. Two more gas coming down. Putting these guys over here. And turrets coming down. Gonna build two turrets. And now he's gonna send these guys back. He's got a medic out here, a couple medics. Really not that big of a base for Buell. Pulling these guys down. And gonna start dropping these guys. I mean, this guy is a unique player, this Niho guy. I'm gonna drop some more Dragoons so they can attack. And this is very annoying. He's got the Dragoon right here. Picking up the Reaver. Comes your Stim. Ooh. Shuttle. These Marines are doing a good job. And I think he's going to abort this. Getting this upgrade. Templar Archives cannon coming down over here. Two more barracks. I'm going to take this guy out. I'm going to start walling this off with depots. But he's pretty blind to drop to come right here. Here's a probe, making some more gateways. And here's your drop. Four zealots. There's one reaver in here. So it's a lot of units. We'll see how fuel handles this. And he's just gonna drop everything right here and go for the attack. He's got the reaver in here. You see those marines trying to step out the reaver. Is the scarab going to connect? It's not. Siege coming down. Picked up the reaver. Going after the SCVs. Ooh, the reaver's going to go down. So, very, very fortunate for fuel here. We'll see if he gets a drop ship. Corsairs getting made. Templars. I start putting down some cannons. Yeah, this guy is pretty sick. He's got good Reaver Shuttle Micro. Should get a bunker down here. Here comes a scan. I'm gonna see this, but the drop's coming right now. Sending these guys on over. Here comes your drop. Reavers. And we'll see if he brings the Templar drop right after. That's what I see a lot of players go for. Here it is. Gonna we sniped it out. Nicely done by Buell. I feel like Buell is playing this one pretty perfectly. Here's your dropship probably gonna put down another command center getting some cannons over here 
see what the upgrades are. Zero, zero, 001, another drop. It's got four Templars in here. And this can get spotted out. Just spitting out two uh, zealots to kill those marines. A couple cannons right here. So I'll be in a pretty good position. We'll see if he puts down a bunch more factories and starts macroing up. Here comes your drop. And not moving the SCVs. I guess he did. So. Didn't lose as many as I thought he was going to. Still has 52 SCVs. And Niho going to start building up his base a little bit more. Yeah, he should get a couple more robotics. Getting the upgrade expo right here. And we'll see if Buell just starts going for the attack. I feel like Buell has defended everything pretty perfectly. He's in the middle position, which is unfortunate. Gotta put some tanks down. Teplar is gonna drop. See these storms. Gonna kill all those marines, but not gonna get any SCVs. And yeah, now it's time for Buell to kind of start macroing up. Kind of lost track of these guys though. This happens to the best of us. There's another drop. Stim. Takes it down. Arbiter Tribunal. There's your SCVs. Comes your next drop. Two Templars in here. Scan coming down. Tank drop right here. And he sees that it's open. Comes your drop right here. Pull these guys up. Ooh, nice dodge. And. Dropping some tanks right here. See if he gets a couple more starports. A couple more cannons right here. Another drop coming. Start taking this out. Scans coming down. And he doesn't have too many gateways, so. There's another drop, I think, right here. Or frontal attack. Now Buell just going to start moving on out. 1-2 on his upgrades. He's stimming these guys up. He's got a bunch of barracks. And this APM will probably 
pick up going to like 240, I think. With pumping the Marines. I think he accidentally stormed himself. There's your G. G. So, fuel gonna exert his dominance right there. And I'm excited to see this guy's Terran. I think he, he plays Terran uniquely. I mean, his Protoss is kind of unique too. So going to be bottom middle again. And fuel on the Protoss. So it looks like he's doing the exact same thing that same build order as Buell. Just wall this off. And then we'll see if he gets, yeah, and then he'll get a, another barracks. Sending this guy on out. Nexus, so I think two gateways, Nexus for Buell. And we'll see if he tries to kill this probe. This guy's awareness is just on point. Here's your SCV. Getting this guy in. Command center gonna come down. There's your double gas, so he's basically up against the standard. Really trying to get that probe. But he doesn't want to get attacked. Sending these guys back. Marine coming on in. And is he going to try to get one probe here? Going after one. Gets one. I mean, this guy's pretty sick. <laughs> Here's your cannon coming down. Sending these guys on out. And good reaction time from Buell response. Should be tries to snipe this guy out first. Too many zealots here. Still got this SCV in here. Running back. These guys are going to get clogged up. Nice micro. Takes out the ones a lot. Micro and this guy on over. On point micro from this guy. And good macro too. Still got this marine alive over here. This guy's control is pretty insane. Buell playing at 300 APM, so really playing fast. I never really see him play that fast, but he's probably spamming a lot. Engineering bay coming down, getting stim, got the factory. See if another Nexus comes down. There's your double robotics. Citadel. And just pump it off of the two gateways. Starport coming down. We'll see if he scans. So it looks like he's gonna be a little bit aggressive.
three cannons up here. Gonna build a bunker and keeping Buell on his toes. See if that Nexus comes down. Just wait for another scan. I think he has these guys out here because he wants to maybe try to intercept this drop. Because usually you go with your Zealots and your Reaver. This guy should be popping out. A couple more gateways coming down. Here's your cannons. My Buell's just so clean with his Protoss and Terran. Sending these guys on out to the side. Get that vision. Just playing off of the one command center. Another bunker coming down. And he's going to go right for a tank drop. A couple more cannons coming right here. Skin coming down. And those zealots are gone, so. Is that attack coming? Here's your DTs. And here comes Buell on the side right here. And so Buell can see those turrets, but he can't see that drop. Nihil can't see that drop. Here comes the tank drop. Coming on in. Drops the one tank. Oof. Trying to go for it. Oh. It was a little bit closer. I think if he had scan, he could have got that. Did he abort this drop? I didn't even see it go by. Hey, pulled it back. Double Reaver. A couple more shuttles. Gonna put down some factories now. Let's start building up his base. Sending the DTs on the side. Here's your Wraith out here. going to be going back and forth. There's your scan. Pick up. Dropping the, the Reavers. Going to pick them back up, I think. Oh. Ooh, now he's going for it. Uh oh, not gonna be good. It's gonna go down. He's got a decent amount of factories right here, so I think Neo is in a decent position. Comes another drop. Four robotics. A couple cannons over here. Here comes your drop. Templars. Six Templars. This is not going to be good. Six storms, possibly. Down to 36 SCVs. Gotta have some more Templars in here. I guess they all went down. There's another drop. Just all Zealots in here, though. I think he maybe he forgot to put some Templars in here.
123 supply to 154. Other drop coming. Reaver in here. Gonna lay some mines. So smart. By Neho, but here comes your drop. Gonna stim. And defended that pretty nicely. Use your Templars right here. So if you can just start macroing up, pumping some units out. Because Buell does not have a full base, he's starting to build some more gateways, but... Templars in the front. And gonna stop that drop, so nicely done. A little bit supply stuff. Some dragoons right here. Let's see if he spots that drop out. He's going to see that. Here it comes. Templars. Still at 62 SCVs. And now Buell gonna start building up his base. We'll see if he gets some maybe Archons. Looks like he might go for a frontal attack. And then just drop everything right here. Let's see what the upgrades are. One, two, one. There's another drop. Four Templars. Sniped out. But slowly busting through the front. He's got some vultures up here. He needs to get some more factories. Laying some mines. And this is going to go down. Here comes another drop. Templars. Templar. Good pull on his SCVs. He's still got 67. Another storm coming down. And this one looks like it's gonna land. Yeho slowly going down. That 97 supply. Another storm, and there is your G G McGee. So you are going to make that one look kind of easy, but you can tell the potential this guy has, this Neo guy. Whoever he is, he looks pretty good. So um, his micro is on point early on. He's fun to watch. So good games. Give it a like, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. P2C.